Melanie, it means we have got to change our habits. According to this declaration by the mayor, even water fountains like the one behind me that define downtown Lexington will have to be shut off if they use treated water. Also, you can no longer water your lawn, wash your car, wash off your driveway. We are in the middle of a water shortage full alert. And if it doesn't rain for the next few days, we could face water rationing. Nancy Lynn Trenum joins us from Triangle Park, and it looks a little different down there tonight, Nancy Lynn. It looks very different, Melanie. The fountain that defines the beauty of downtown Lexington is dry tonight. I'm actually sitting here in the fountain. It's normally a cascade of beautiful water, but you can see it from all around me. It does look very different tonight, and it's also an indication of just how serious the situation has become. We've all been asked to stop using water that is not essential, and yet some people are ignoring the water restrictions. By the way, if you're caught violating the water restrictions, you will face, or police say, you will face a $250 fine. Now, you have to remember, this is affecting all of us here, including the University of Kentucky, who is not able to water its football field, and their first game is just three weeks away. Also, Melanie, you won't see any high school fundraiser car washes this weekend. As of this morning, the charitable car washes have been banned, but the commercial car washes are still open for business right now. Well, a new tough ban on watering is now in its third day for Kentucky American water customers. Police are cracking down on people breaking the new watering rules. As of this morning, police have responded to about 120 complaints and issued four citations. Now, if you're caught violating the water restrictions, it's going to cost you $250. Now, here's a reminder of the watering do's and don'ts. You cannot water your lawn, wash your car, except at a professional car wash. You cannot clean off your driveway with water, refill your pool, or operate a fountain. You can, however, water trees and shrubs on your designated watering days. Thanks to those restrictions, more and more motorists now have to use professional car washes to keep their cars clean. Even with the threat of rain from overcast skies, people are still going to Jeff's Car Wash. This is the only legal way Lexington residents can keep their cars clean. Employees are working nonstop to keep up with the demand. It seems as the dry season heats up, so does this business here at the car wash. Last Saturday we did real well. We, we could do about 700 cars last Saturday, and that, that keeps us real busy all day long, open to close. We're open 10 hours a day, so that's about, that's over a car a minute. Even though this is many people's last hope of washing their cars, Jeff's car wash will be closed on Sunday to help conserve water. Well, now from hot businesses to hot music. The rock group, the Backstreet Boys, will be in town November 26th for a concert, but tickets are already sold out. This was the scene this morning at Rep Arena. About 2,000 people gathered here to get tickets to test their luck. See, the tickets were sold lottery style, which means your chances of getting front row seats were just as good if you were the first one or the last one in line. Now, and I didn't care girl, if they were the, first. You know, the top row on Upper Arena. And to, to think that I got this, you know, it's just so exciting. The show sold out in 32 minutes. At this time, organizers say there are no plans to hold a second show in Lexington. We'll have more on the Backstreet Boys ticket hysteria tonight at 11 o'clock. Well, Center College is also hoping to bring a headline act to its campus next year. The Danville School wants to host one of the presidential debates. The last time Kentucky hosted a presidential debate was this one in Louisville in 1984 between President Reagan and Walter Mondale. Center College's president says the college is willing to put up half a million dollars to pay for the debate. A bipartisan commission will decide how many debates there will be and where those debates will be held. One University of Kentucky student is living proof that the phrase better late than never is a good one. Virginia Terry Line is now an official UK alum, but it took her 71 years to graduate. You see, the 89-year-old woman started school back in 1928, and over the years she kept taking classes but had no diploma to show for it. Her granddaughter did a little research and found her grandmother had accumulated enough credits to not only graduate, but to graduate magna cum laude. Happy about it. In fact, this is, this is the highlight of my life, as you must guess. I imagine Virginia Terry Line received a degree in philosophy with a minor in Latin. She's one of the five oldest people to ever graduate from UK. Pretty amazing. Well, now, changing subjects a little bit. Ordinarily, catching a catfish means you've got something for dinner. 
And today at Jacobson Park, catching the right catfish made someone $1,000 richer. It was part of the Catch Me If You Can contest sponsored by Aunt Vera's Restaurant and WLEX TV. Five catfish were tagged. There was a prize for anyone catching one of them. The day also included paddle boat races and this mega twister competition. More than 1,000 people participated in the day's events. And that's a look at the news of the day. Let's go back downtown where Tracy and John are standing by with more on the Midsummer's Night Festival. Hey, guys. Thank you very much, Nancy Lennon.